Hey everyone, Dynamite here. We'll be playing the second Destroy All Humans Reprobed. Now, I've never played this game before, nor have you even played the original, so this is all going to be a new experience. Let's get started. It's just starting out, times are tough, but you can take it. Any task for a price. Destroyer of humans, nothing is too difficult for the ultimate if you're on. You know what, we're going to play on... We're going to play on Mercenary. I might, I might regret that, but let's play on Mercenary to the modern human brain. It may be shocking. Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago. The United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. Their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, now deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they use these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> these guys look like they're from Counter-Strike. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. How do they he know all this? He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. <laughs> Well, shit. That has a missile on it. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. <laughs> and Orthopox? Conducting <laughs> experiments in the Furon mothership. He's just trying to have a little fun, man. Damages. Oh, shit. Generous. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. You're telling me that ship didn't have a shield? Uh-oh. That can't be good. Whoa. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mines. <laughs> I got a bigger gun than you, jackass. Alright, let's see. Alright, the controls are all the same, and I still have my infinite hoverboard thing. I'll take that. Come here. Ugh. Are you receiving? The mothership has been destroyed! You must come to my aid immediately! Follow the distressed beacon to my location! Whoa, that's a lot more weapons. Woohoo, I can't wait to use those. Alright. Crypto! These KGB agents are trying to fricassee my motherboard! Hurry up! Zap! Get down from there! Ugh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I already discovered this. Charge from extra throws, fling them into something or launch them towards the horizon. Press Y to cancel the... Okay, so now I can cancel it, okay. That part I didn't know. It's always good to read the tutorial, even if you know, you know everything. Uh 
<laughs> Get in the dumpster. <laughs> You'll be safer. <laughs> he did not look happy. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't More be like choosers. convenient. Beggars can't be choosers. And oh, this is a dialogue. Pester pox for heavy weapons. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. I don't need easy. I just need a, a weapon. I don't care. Okay, so where are the data cores? That's just it. They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. This is actually kind of cool with the whole dialogue thing. Quiz pox on data cores, give lame excuse for not bringing guns, leave to retrieve data core, <laughs> give lame excuse for not bringing guns. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the genes off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble. Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. <laughs> He's putting together his own... What's a data core? You never studied. A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Whoa. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. Alright. And no jetpack sucks. At least I still have my hoverboard though, so I'm thankful of that. Crypto runs slow as fuck. Oh. What is this? Some sinister get, get out of here. Can I lift up cars still? Nope, I can't. Whoa! You think we cannot do this in so Eh, shut up. I know that hurt. Data core nearby. There's a data core on top of that roof. Oh, if only you had some way to get it. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of jetpack. Uh, sucks I don't have one. Oh. There we go. Now we're talking. Alright, let's see how fat. Whoa. It really improved. Oh. Well, they improved on the height acceleration. On the jetpack. Um, if you're not wanting to die, you should have thought of that before attacking an alien. Oh, data core, where? That's 
Let's get this data core. Ooh, what's this? What's this thing do? Let's go. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool. Charge up for deadly or bounces. It's a dislocator. Eesh, sounds displeasing. <laughs> what the hell? Like, bounce, <laughs> bounce, <laughs> bounce. What the hell? What kind of gun is this? Who came up with this gun? Doing, doing. Oh, whoa. Activate weapon sniper. Oh, yeah. Back to the Zappomatic, and I'll take that. Yeah, damn right your brain was ripped from your comrade. Come here. I'll be taking that. I'm gonna need as much currency as I can possibly get. Thank you. Ah, uh, hold on. I want to use this gun again because it was pretty funny. Oh no. Wait, where'd he go? Like, doing, doing. <laughs> well, that wasn't a complete disaster. Now get back here. We have much to discuss. And by huh. discuss, I mean I have your new orders. I love this gun. Oh no, give me that brain. No. <laughs> yeah, well. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Russians and they're spitting. Inform the Kremlin <laughs> we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! <laughs> Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> when you're the only one laughing at the joke. <laughs> mass destruction or mass delusion? Oh yeah, there's no mothership, so... We're gonna be staying here for a while. Alright, let's talk to Orthox. Where have all the flower children gone? Jeez, Pox. My His head's Pox. still spinning. I don't know why I called him Orthox. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. How do I find the KGB? Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not! The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. <laughs> well, stop! I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. Interesting nickname. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. 
But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right. All right, enough chit chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the freak. Wait, it takes a loading screen to, end, to exit out of a conversation? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Who are you? Uh oh. Oh. Cool glasses. Right, free love. Free love forces targets to dance. <laughs> of course. Everybody dance. Take a human body. All right. <laughs> oh, I have to hold it. Oh, I know. Wait. Take a human's body. Body snatch. Oh, I have to press it rapidly. Okay. Because I get everyone, guys, check it out. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Can I dance with them? I don't. I don't think I can. Uh, nope. I don't think I can. That sucks. Wait. Body snatch a cop. Let me see if I can get that done. That you? Just spat out that lady. Use a police box to make a call. <laughs> you can do prank calls? Police dispatch, is this an emergency? We got him. 10-4, all units stand down. Alright. Whoa. That freak at the park should be put away for good. Okay, at the park. He runs kind of funny in human form. Cortex scan. I wonder where the freak went. Wait, how Probably do I? On the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Yeah, I don't think I can refresh the disguise like I could in the first one. Only hippies can vibe with the freak. Okay, we'll take control of this guy taking a piss in the back. <laughs> All clear. All right, let's talk. Hey to this there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. <laughs> Probably needs needs more weed. Ask about the Russians. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited? <laughs> who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? What I hear it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Coyote Bongwater. <laughs> Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eating out of his hookah. Oh, man. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong water. Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. Doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do <laughs> know is he's cutting into my livelihood. <coughs> he's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't uh, that a bitch? Excuse me. If you want him, that's your it. Find some revelate and you'll probably find Coyote Bong water. 
What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater Sounds says nice. it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Who's the Great. man? Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Alright, use the cortex scan to locate the hideout. Oh, I want to do a prank call. Let's see what happens. Police headquarters, Officer Johnson. Huh. Do you deliver? Yes, but there's a $2 surcharge. Wait, what? Police headquarters, Officer Johnson. I'm looking for Mr. Jazz. First name, Hugh. Please call back with an original joke, sir. Ah, uh, so close yet so far. All right, average. Police headquarters, officer. Jones. Damn. Yeah, I, I want to put down fifty large on the Niners. I can cover that, sir. Is that all the all I can call is the police department? Can't like call a pizza place? That seems the most common place to get prank calls. Whoa. Yeah, always look both ways, kids. If this bong water guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the buzz, man! Yeah, I kind of want to know what it's like living as a hippie, because it seems kind of like and a peaceful week, life. We'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll like a be chill. each of you private hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. Oh, hello. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. <laughs> God damn flashbacks! Knocking. Yes again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join <laughs> us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the yeah. brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> Again. Kill me? Yeah. Run along, comrade. My men uh -oh. can handle this. Pacifist. Uh. <laughs> what a crunk. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Parameter breach. Get bong water out of here. Hurry. Firing. Kill the KGB agents. Bongwater is being in danger. Get him out of here. Now. Oh. Killed him with his own grenade. That's awesome. And zoop! And doing, doing. <laughs> I just like seeing them bounce all over the place. Can I extract? Okay, yeah, I can still extract from them. Okay, I didn't mean to extract from you, but whatever. get up here what's here what's this I have no idea what that was oh I missed an agent ooh just exploded the car okay 
Where have all the flower children gone? Okay, I can't really read that, so we're just gonna skip over that. Is it the pig? Are you from Oakland? Are you from Oakland? What? Oh, hello. Oof. 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 <laughs> yeah, I did not mean to do that. Alright. Talk to this guy. Only, oh, I have to... Dang it. Make them all dance. Alright. They shout hippies, don't they? How's it hanging, freak? Oh Listen, my gosh, the voice. <laughs> Alright, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. How is this not suspicious with the voice? <laughs> Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were going to get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Revelade. All right, where's the hideout? Okay, so where's Bongwater hiding? Nobody knows, man. He just sends his goons out to spread the revelade. Sneaky, huh? Just like a snake hiding in the grass. But he can't hide forever. I got a couple of pretty good weed whackers of my own. Ask about Barwater's plan. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's <laughs> on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Yes. He's gonna gas the whole city with revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm <laughs> gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of revelade. Didn't you hear me? He's, he's high. Of course he didn't hear you. What am I doing talking to this creep? And he's going to continue dancing. Alright, uh, I guess I gotta talk to Pox. Pox, we got a situation here. Bungwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work! So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah. Uh. Crap. Oh, the good news damn. Is ancient landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then I kick a little monkey ass. Huh. <laughs> one way of putting it. Oh, there's the lady I possessed. You're unharmed. You can go home. I should probably jump from rooftop to rooftop to see if I can find any upgrades of or any new weapons. Can you move any slower, Crypto? Okay. How do I... There we go. Amuse thy languid Furon god and stamp my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvudal. Yeah. Let 
Summoning zone activated. Sorry, no witnesses. All right, call in my saucer. Let's get started. I was hoping to get to this part at least before the end of the episode. <laughs> it's in rough shape, but it'll do. Ooh. Good work getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid uh -oh. we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Luckily, I've detected more data cores from the mothership nearby, containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up in flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's payback time. All right. Don't screw with me, Jerry. I'm tripping. <laughs> Current disguise is provoking attack. Whatever. Fine. I'll I'll be right here. To plan. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that was clean. Okay. That was like some Metal Gear Solid shit. The next level. Is there anyone else here? Oh, yep, there is. This could be a cool, like, feature in some kind of demon game where you just possess people and use your demonic powers or something along those lines. Oof. Oh, did I get caught? Oh, okay, good. And that's why I won't drop that. Who's shooting? All clear. Yeah, go soldiers. Get your groove on. Look at the vehicle you've been dancing. Oh, the party's over already. Alright. Well, I gotta do it again. Get back to dancing. Alright, let me see if I can... Oop. All clear. Great. Nice. Nobody. Just continue with your day. Body. Get back to the saucer and finally fix it. Uninterrupted. Out in the open. In broad daylight. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let's say, come on guys, fix the damn thing. No time for fighting. Fix first, fight later. Right on! Time to book it! It's showtime. 
whoa there's more options saucer skin oh saucer skins I'll take a look at that later. Answer cockpit. Oh, you can cloak. Just in time, Crypto. Awesome. Water has launched his blimps at the city. You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelade. Okay, so drain vehicles to the strain vehicle. Here we go, Crypto. Okay. The have entered the city. Oh, it's on! I'll be monitoring the level of Revelade in the atmosphere, but you'd better destroy those blips quickly, Crypto, because if the Revelade level reaches 100% saturation, our Bay City Brain Farm will be turned into a useless den of unmotivated degenerates sitting in front of their TV screens, twiddling their thumbs. <coughs> Damn, he had to call us out like that. Look alive, Crypto. Here comes another wave of those infernal blips. Zap, zap. Destroy this building. I don't know why, just do it. Oh, I don't have any other weapons. Not yet, at least. Oh, wait. I have the abducto beam. Come here. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I have no time to play around. I have to get this done. I think I'm timed. I'm not sure. Oh, yep. I am. Okay. Let's get this optional objective done first, really quick. Okay. Another one down. One more left. Watch. Thank God, Poodle, I have no eyes. Come on. Can you go any faster? All right, nice. Now that we've handled the Revelade, we need to take out the supplier. Go talk to the freak and find out where Bongwater's hiding. Hero Tech Cells. Is that for upgrades? Make terrorist attacks dirigibles? Grass for all, says a friend to the deal owner. Alright, well, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Please be sure to share the video, like the video, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. See ya.